let girls learn. That was the demand of Afghan women leaders living in exile who spoke at the United Nations this week. Nahid Farid is a former member of the Afghan parliament. Today marks the 34th day that Afghan girls banned from attending secondary school. Extrajudiciary killings, public executions, ethnic cleansing, molestations, mass killings takes place in Afghanistan as we speak. Ever since the Taliban took back power in Afghanistan in late August, Afghan women have been taking to the streets, demanding the Islamist group allow them back into the workplace and let girls return to school as promised. So far, the Taliban is only letting a very limited number of women work, such as some midwives and nurses, and have said they will let girls return to school in accordance with Sharia law. At Thursday's United Nations special meeting, Britain's Minister for UN Issues, Tariq Ahmad, had a message for the Taliban. So let me address the Taliban quite directly. Islam provides for women's rights. It does not deny it. Islam provides for education for all, not just for boys, but for girls. Islam talks of empowerment of all communities, protection of minorities, not the suppression of them. Afghan women want a seat at the table, Asila Wardak of the Afghan Women's Network says. Please do not talk about me in these discussions. Create, uh, as, create spaces for me and other Afghan women leaders to talk directly with the Taliban. This is how you meaningfully include women in peace process and uh, peace and security process as well as humanitarian assistance projects. Give us a seat at the table. Do not put us in to the corridor. At the United Nations, several Afghan women leaders warned of the dire humanitarian situation in their homeland and said women should not just be beneficiaries of aid, but also leaders in distribution. Fazia Kufi is a former member of the Afghan parliament. It is imperative that the UN demand the protection and inclusion of Afghan women in every stage of aid and humanitarian aid distribution. From planning to implementation, and being the recipients. For now, girls are only allowed to attend primary school in Afghanistan, and in many cases, teachers have not been paid their salary in two months. Cindy Sane, VOA News.